Hi, in this uh, session, we are going to talk about seven shifts that will change your life. And in this, uh, the first uh, shift is defining your goals, defining, knowing what you want to achieve, what is success to you. Because for everyone, uh, success is different. For someone, it's it could be having one million pounds in the account, or for another person, it could be 100 million in the account, or it could be not just wealth but happiness as well it could be health wealth and happiness so it says a lot of things so you need to understand what your goal is in order to achieve it because without a clear goal you can't achieve it's like you can't hit a target that you can't see or when you don't know where you're going any road will take you there so you have to have a destination you have to know where you are going for example, you get in the car and if you know where you're going, even if there is a, a roadblock, you know where to turn, how to go, because now you know where you're going. But if you didn't have the destination, then you wouldn't know where to go. You will just take any road and you'll, you'll end up anywhere. So you don't want that to happen. So you want to know where you're going. And when it comes to goals, write them down. It's not just, you know, okay, this is my goal, but write them down so it becomes a firm goal, but also become more dis descriptive. Write them down in detail. If it's, uh, um, for example, if it's 100 million, uh, getting 100 million or earning 100 million, you need to write them down in present tense as well as why you want that sort of money. Because the why is more important than the how. Because the how becomes easy when you know the why. So that's why it's good to write them down and go through them every single day if you can. Maybe print it or write it in a place and leave it in a place where you can see it every single day. Say it aloud in Think and Go Rich. They say you have to read your goal every single day in the morning as well as in the evening what happens is it engraves into your body and then whenever you're thinking when you're whenever you're making a decision it becomes a part of your decision making process so you will not make a decision against your goals so it will be aligned with your goals and it'll drive you towards it and when you're sleeping your subconscious will work on achieving your goals so it's a lot in there it's not just you know writing a goal or thinking about a goal so the why is very important because sometimes it can go sideways it's not going to be you know all the time it's going to be a walk in the park you know it might go wrong but as long as you have a clear target you know what your mission is what you're trying to achieve then you can get there the stronger the why is the easier it gets because the reasons come first answers come second as Tony Robbins says so you need to have a strong reason because if the reason is strong enough it will somehow get you there so I, I hope you will get clear reasons write as many reasons as possible the, it doesn't have to be one reason it could be because sometimes you might work harder or you might do more for others than you might do for yourself so these things matter a lot so write them down so you have a clear goal and you have it in writing so you can refer to it again and again you don't have to stick to the same goal you can change the goal as you go along but make sure you have goals written down and make sure you're clear about your goals because that's the first thing and once you have them written down you will have a clear focus and you can focus everything on your achieving your goals let's go to the second uh, second shift be productive not busy it's very important to be productive than busy because sometimes you think okay i'm doing so much work i'm working hard so i should get results but it's not about working hard it's about what you do it's jim Rohn says it's not the hours you put in it's what you put in the hours that matters so you need to make sure that you put the right work into it and then another thing is you need to make sure you are doing what is necessary to move the needle because sometimes you work and work and work I'm sure you know a lot of people who work so hard but they achieve nothing in their life it's not the working hard it's 
being effective and doing the right thing that counts sometimes it could be an uncomfortable thing it could be something that you don't like to do it could be selling it could be marketing that you are uncomfortable with I don't know how to market I don't know how to sell then you should be working harder on how to market how to sell so again if you're uncomfortable in front of a camera you should be working harder on doing more videos so that you become comfortable so that's also very important you put more effort but you put effort towards moving the needle towards what should be done rather than just doing something to keep you busy so that's also very important i hope you got the idea clear like jim Rohn used to say don't mistake movement for achievement just because you're moving you're doing it feels like you're really busy doesn't mean that it's an achievement so that's that's why it's very important to make sure you're doing the right thing you are moving towards your goals you're doing what is necessary to achieve your goals so that's why you need to know the goals once you know the goals you can plan towards achieving the goals but make sure you do every single step correctly in order to achieve the goal not do just what are what you're comfortable with say for example you're very comfortable with editing stuff you just keep editing stuff or if you're very comfortable with uh, creating logos or creating thumbnails so now you're spending a lot of time on creating thumbnails but that's not the idea you need to make sure you move the needle forward so that's the idea of the second be productive not be busy the third one is small shifts big results you need to understand this as well you don't have to change everything at once it's it's about small small shifts they say uh, you don't need to become really good at anything you just become better in every aspect that you do when you're talking you talk better when you're writing an email you write it better when you're doing a video you do it better so you do small shifts but in the long run in the long term it will build up to a cumulative uh, effect so that you be get better results that way and you don't need to do everything it's like kaizen you do it in small pieces one thing at a time one task at a time one grain of sand at a time so this is also very important um, tony robbins actually talks about this in when he was trained in golf his golf trainer was saying oh you're only one millimeter off but tony was like no it was about 100 yards off no it's if you change where you are hitting on the ball just one millimeter it will change the direction and it will be accurate so it's it's things like that how do you run a hundred mile marathon one step at a time same way you just change one thing at a time focus on what you're doing and then do that the best way you can and keep improving so constant improvement that's how you do this so that's also very important small shifts for big results the next thing you need to understand is money isn't evil so as long as you know this as long as you believe in this then you can achieve um, a lot of good results and a lot of wealth because some people tend to believe that oh i don't need money i just need to achieve success i don't need a lot of money money is bad if you have this mentality it's going to be hard because you're going to be, find it hard to ask for money or ask people to pay you but you have to understand that money is not evil it's like you're saying okay if we ask you what do you need what do you want to achieve i want to be happy i want to pay for my parents house i want to buy a lot of things for my kids i want to give away a lot of money to other people or help others but i don't want money it doesn't make sense if you say that because for you to achieve those targets achieve those goals you need money you can't do them without money so you are doing it for the right purpose as long as you're doing it for the right purpose you shouldn't be ashamed of getting money or building a lot of wealth 
for yourself. It's it's not about how much you earn. It's about how you become happy and what you do with the money you earn. If someone says money can't buy happiness, that means you just haven't given enough away. So that's what it means. So the more you give to others, you will feel the need of money. Because if you have given, it doesn't matter what you have given, how much you have given, or how you've helped others. But if you spent on something, even on a meal for a hungry person, and if you look at that person becoming really happy by getting that meal and having um, enjoying that meal, you want to give more and more. If you've given education to a kid who couldn't afford education, he will be really happy, and the the look in his eyes or her eyes will make you want to do more and more. So these are very important things that you need to know. So without money, you can't do a lot. Imagine if you can help hundred people with the money you have, and you help the hundred people, and then you discover that oh, I want to help more. The more money you have, the more people you can help. So that's why it's very important to have money, and. Money is a byproduct. Money is not what you're going after. Money comes as a byproduct of what you have given to the others because of the value. The more value you provide, the more money you will get. So the more, the better service you provide, the better uh, value you give to the others, then you will get more money in the process. So the money is a byproduct. So you need to know that as well. Don't think about money as a bad thing. As long as you understand that money is necessary for all these things and you can help others with money, then you will succeed in life. Uh, the fifth shift is um, stop overthinking. If you think too much, if you try to do everything, if you want to say you're doing a video and you want to, you want it to be perfect, you're looking at everything, you're checking everything, then it's very hard for you to progress because you are worrying too much about what's going to happen more than checking what will happen by putting it out. So it's very important not to overthink. As Tony Robbins says, complexity is the enemy of execution. So if you make things complicated, if you, if you don't progress, it will make it difficult for you to achieve something so you need to make sure you do something you put it out you see what happens and change it according to the the feedback according to what happens rather than just do everything the best you can i'm sure you've heard the uh, the parable of the pottery class where they give students uh, they they group the students into two um, groups and then one group they let the students make one pot for the whole month. So they, they focus on what, making one pot the whole month and the other students, they give uh, a pot a day. They make one pot every single day. And by the end of the, the month, they find out that all the good pots came from the group that they made more pots, 30 pots within the month because they become better in the process. So uh, if you take more time, you're just going to find out that it doesn't work or work after a long period of time and you might not be able to fully find out either so it's, it's better always better to try and fail more than you know trying to do it perfectly sometimes we want to figure everything out before we want to do something there are people like that but if you try to figure everything out you might not be able to figure everything out so then that means you won't be able to do it. So it's better to do with the knowledge you have and see the outcome from that. There is also saying, if you want to succeed faster, you need to fail faster. So if you double the speed of failure, you double the speed of becoming successful. So you need to make sure you um, get this experience first. So for you to get the experience, you need to fail fast or you need to keep going and find out in the process. And also don't overanalyze what you're doing, just keep going. The next shift is don't settle for less. 
try to do the best you can when you are doing when you're working on something do the best you can doesn't mean you have to get all the details to do it but when you're doing something if you're talking or if you are on the camera or if you're taking a video doing a video do the best you can and in the life as well do the most you can achieve the most you can don't settle for less otherwise imagine you're in the uh, on the dead bed and you are say you're dead and now people are talking about you and they don't know that you can hear it but they're saying oh he was okay he did okay you, do you want to hear that or do you want them to say oh he did exceptionally well he did the best he could he treated his wife like a queen he was really good to his kids and he uh, achieved whatever he could whatever he did he did the best so that's what you want to hear right so imagine that happens so you need to try and do the maximum you can and achieve the maximum because you can't go back once that you get to that state imagine you go to now you you're with god and now god is asking you oh how was it how did you manage you was like oh it was okay i did okay uh the life was okay or oh, do you want to say oh i did great and i did my best and so on and so forth because say for example the god is going to show you um this is what you could have done this is what you could have been you could have achieved imagine if the god was to show you do you want to achieve less than what you could have achieved and then you look at that and you're thinking oh my god i could have done this i could have achieved this and you would want to go back or you'll be like oh no no can i go back and then imagine you have to come back and you then you will do it right but you don't have to come back you're already here so you can do it correctly and you can achieve success that way so imagine that way keep it in mind do the best you can don't settle for less whatever you're doing focus on that do the best you can and you'll get there the last shift is um, becoming a part or something that is bigger than yourself so it's like uh getting into a group of people or it could be a mastermind group it could be a influential group it could be a group of friends with the same attitude same mindset same goals uh in the mind so it's it's like that but it has to be bigger than you so that it will drive uh forward and it will give you more uh motivation and influence towards achieving your goals rather than you know in the normal world people will be like distracting you and they'll be like no this is impossible no one can achieve that target but they don't know you your targets and goals are different from their goals because they can't achieve they can't think about that doesn't mean you can't achieve that so you need to hang around with people who are winners the more you hang around with winners and who have achieved they will drive you they they will want you to succeed as well people who have succeeded they want others to succeed people who have failed doesn't want them the others to succeed that's the problem so you have to make sure who you hang around with are the people who are better than you who will take you to where you want to go and help you and you can learn a lot from them as well by hanging around they have positive energy which is good for you and it's always um they always share good things with you for example this was uh, something that i got it from the inner circle from the mastermind this was uh, this video was done by dean graciosi i thank him for doing this i learned a lot now i'm sharing this with you because i think this is useful as well for others so things like that these are not my ideas these are things that i learned from others but they will share like i am sharing now so you should be if you think this is good you will share with uh people who you interact with so similarly if you hang around with the right people and these people are different from uh the other people who are 
negative thinkers. So that's why you need to hang around with the positive thinkers who have a great mind, who have a great goal, and they will drive you towards your goal.